the Joe Rogan experience. Like th that kind of thinking is what happens in Hollywood, and it's not because they really think that way. It's because they're terrified that they step outside the lines and they'll be, you know, oh, he's another Scott Bayo or something. You know, <laughs> even Chris Pratt gets in trouble because he's Christian. I saw that he was the worst Chris for a while. Did Bro, they... <laughs> he is the nicest fucking guy I've ever met in my life. I mean, I've met people equally nice what were people i don't honestly i just saw something where it was just like Who worst cares? chris or something i don't, I don't give don't. a fuck what they <laughs> what their thing is they're all insane people that hate their jobs that are sitting in front of the cubicle when their boss isn't looking they're tweeting bad things about chris pratt it's definitely interesting the like how the like power of like people though that mm -hmm. can kind of like blow up something that's sort of like you know just maybe not that big of a deal and it becomes a big deal because that's a nice way to put it What it is is a bully pylon. That's what it is You see someone being vulnerable and you could snipe at them and you don't have any repercussions and they're not in front of you So you attack the guy he's not done, he hasn't done nothing I don't he's I honestly so have no nice. idea what the thing is like that people are even like Chris, I don't know anything about it but. Chris Pat is like one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. He's genuinely friend. I've I've been in hunting camp with him He's nice to everybody, to the, the ladies that work in the kitchen. Where were you nice guys hunting? Elk. Where? In Utah. That's crazy. Yeah. So you just like went to like a like camp for like a couple like, like we're a there for a week or something? Yeah, for a week. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Did but, you get a elk? Yes, I did. Yeah. That's interesting. And he did too. Um, but my, my point is like I've seen him interact with people. Like, sure. He sits at the these cafeteria style tables with everybody with, you know, people from all walks of life. He's like super normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've, see, I've been around him multiple times like that. He's a super kind, super normal guy. It'll be interesting. He's fun too. He's a fun guy to be around. Like, I'm excited to see that Mario movie. Did you see that? No. The Mario. He's like the. I'm pretty sure he's the voice of Mario. Oh, the voice. The, like in I thought you were saying like he's Mario. gonna be a li live action Mario. No, no. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's all animated. But he's. Like um, voice. He's. You know. What else has he done other than the Guardians of the Galaxy? He's got something else. It's oh, he's in Jurassic that's Park thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's in. I was. He's in the new uh, Jack Carr series that they're doing for uh, Amazon. Do you know, I don't know what that is? Jack Carr is. Uh, he's got these uh, amazing books about this, this character James Reese, this Navy SEAL James Reese. Are really great. Like thriller, like a action Tom Clancy book. type. So, yeah, very similar. Like okay. a Jack Reacher type thing. Okay. Yeah. But this guy, James Reese, is his primary character. Oh, and okay. he's being played and it's for by like Chris Amazon Pratt. or yes. like something yes. like that. Yeah. Anyway, the point is he's one of the rare guys that's like he's he's kind of outside of the lines in terms of his ideology. He's a Christian and oh, pretty sure. open about it. And and because of that they attack him. And it's something so simple. Like he just believes in Jesus and he likes you know, he likes to be uh, a good person. Sure, and sure, sure. And you're like, sure. fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely, it's, it's an interesting time.